Hello, welcome back to lesson 17. We're going to have a look at the language comparative, so comparative language, and it's about rich and poor people. Uh, this is quite similar to the book Rich Dad Poor Dad. Um, if you haven't read it, I strongly suggest you do. It's a great book. But here is a list of the differences between the rich and the poor in terms of thinking and acting. Um, so, uh, this is a list between 1 to 14. So there is 14 here. Uh, you may agree or disagree. It's not there because it's a fact. It's not there because it's my opinion. Uh, strongly it has nothing to do with that. Uh, just to make it clear, I'm not you know, the bad person who thinks this way. <laughs> Uh, some of them I do agree with, to be honest, but not all of them. But here is a little difference between the poor and the rich and how they work, okay, how they live, um, how they spend their money as well, or how they invest their money and their time. Okay, so this is very interesting for you to have a look. And each of them, what is this exercise about? What I would like for you to do. Once you read the first one, I don't want you to read all of them and then discuss, no. Once you read the first one, uh, with your partner next to it, you're going to be discussing and comparing one another, okay? Well, I think this is more than, less than. Don't forget to use uh, comparative language and superlative, okay? Um, with the syllables as well, so more than, better, taller, greater, uh, more intelligent, less intelligent. Things like that. So you're going to be using this comparative language to give your opinion on each of these statements. So, for example, number one, rich people play uh, money, uh, the money, the money game. Sorry, blah, blah, blah. rich people play the money game to win. Poor people play the money game not to lose. I mean, there is a little twist to this kind of language. So, so what game? Well, what is that? How does this work? So ask each other what this means okay is it real is it just a hard harsh opinion you know is it just those statements of thing oh this is this is bollocks i mean this 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 doesn't make sense okay and then you i want you to give your opinion why it doesn't make sense so use comparative language to give your opinion of course um here i have a funny one um rich people focus on rewards poor people focus on loss most rich people are ex no. Uh, rich people risk to win. Poor people will not will do almost anything to avoid problems. Now this is interesting. So there is a list of fourteen. Read them, and once you read each of them, discuss your opinions using comparative language. Uh, and then you have some questions that you're going to be asking each other, okay, and yourselves as well. If it has any relevance, so this is when you're going to give, you know, some thinking to do. You're going to be thinking about your answers, and then you're going to be giving your answers with your personal opinion, or how you judge by society, which is not your personal opinion, but you, you know, it's what you see that makes it reasonable. So it's um, a win-win kind of. Um, conversation okay they can have with one another and don't forget the comparative language <laughs> okay next page we have uh, some questions strong questions about the society well the, the world we live in today okay so we're gonna go with number one I'm gonna read some of them out because it's about six uh, questions so number one what is poverty Number two, what is the meaning of extreme poverty? Number three, is it possible to end suffering of the people in need around the world? Number four, do you think that rich people and poor people think differently or the same about poverty? Number five, what are the meaning of the following words? So here I have um, four big words. And I want you to read them and try to understand the meaning of them and not just the translation of them, okay? What is the impact of the meaning of these words in the society, both rich and poor society? Uh, and then you're going to ask each other, do you know anyone who feels this way? What makes people feel this way? Okay, number six, what makes a person believe that they are better than others? And then there is a few words for those and i want you to understand the meaning of them comprehend the meaning of them and then discuss 
if you know people like that, uh, if you know celebrities like that, in general, okay? So these are the two kind of languages I want you to learn, not only translate, but comprehend the real meaning of them in the society involving rich and poor, involving that balance that keeps us going. And here I have a list of the 10 richest people in the world. Of course, you know, these things change all the time and some people are not even on the list. Some people on the list and shouldn't be there. But anyway, uh, most of them are entrepreneurs, people who invented something, created something or just, you know, inherited something. So it's a list of 10. Read it. Look at the amount of money they have and or what they were, you know, they are worth and the company okay most of these companies are huge and you know who they are and then here i have a little list well i have a little word from winston churchill who doesn't know him he's a cool guy i like him uh and then this is what he said you don't make the poor richer by making the rich poorer so that's interesting and then i want you to discuss what does he mean by that and if you agree or not okay all right guys next lesson we're going to focus on lesson 18 and we're going to be looking at the language specifically on superlative with pros and cons of reality all right so i'll see you soon with lesson 18 bye